which is gone was a general election. Of course I voted because that gives me the entitlement, I feel, to criticise and observe and, and point out and so forth. Um, I'm glad we've got again the Prime Minister David Cameron. I'm personally very gratified about that. And I do deplore the bigotry of my compatriot Nicola Sturgeon when she says Tories, as in Tory Tory. Bigotry is always ugly, ladies and gentlemen. As if a good person can't be a Conservative in Her Majesty's Government. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, we can actually quote three gentlemen, four including Jack. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Remember, gentlemen, it's her government. It doesn't matter who we vote for, if we vote or don't bother. In fact, the less people that vote, the better it is to control and the easier. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter who we vote for because it's her government. She has to open Parliament and I think it's a disgrace that elected, democratically elected MPs in Northern Ireland who are Sinn Féin cannot take the seat in the Houses of Parliament because they will not, they refuse to swear an oath of allegiance to the Queen and her heirs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Republican in sensibility. I'm not going to put a bomb in a pub in Birmingham. No. Notice, ladies and gentlemen, when we had the trouble with these groups like IRA, real IRA, uh, slightly authentic IRA, thought to be genuine, but were really false IRA, i.e. MI5, MI6. Right? Notice when the IRA put a bomb in the city of London, hey, the Illuminati, in the form of Herr Rothschild, got on the blower. You sort that out, said Rothschild, and they did. Don't threaten the money. This is London. The god here is called Mammon. Money! Money is the god of the Londoner. My god can be called God or Allah. Allah is Arabic. Al is the definite article. The, la, lo, the law, Allah. I say that to you as a Sufi. I'm special operations Sufi. Notice the initials SOS. We're very close to the Third Great War. Who's going to listen to me in Speaker's Corner? Now I say to all, I'm not going to ask no show of hands, I say to all Sunni, all Shia sects, come together and unite against your common enemy, Zionism. If you go on the website of the Jewish sect, Neto Red Carter, NKUSA, it says there, Orthodox Jews united against Zionism. The brave rabbis of Neto Red Carter, for whom there is a complete media blackout, when Netanyahu comes to London, he stays down there at the Dorchester, owned by the Sultan of Brunei. Neto Red Carter are there protesting these Jewish rabbis with the Palestinian flags. Complete media blackout. Not in The Guardian, not on Newsnight. Forget it. I usually get described by some idiot as anti-Semitic. I said, no, you're anti-Celtic. It's as meaningless as that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just pro the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, I voted UKIP. UKIP means United Kingdom Independence Party. Their idea of independence coincides with mine. Independence from what I call in the Daily Mail website, Mail Online, the EM, meaning European Monster. People have forgotten because they have short memories. But a Labour man on the left of Labour, Tony Benn. Tony Benn was opposed to the European Union. Because it was unelectable, unaccountable. It's not only those things, Tony. I had the great privilege of meeting Tony Benn. Because Tony Benn is good Tony, as opposed to evil Tony. With a big grin. We must get our sovereignty back. We need to govern our own lives on this and a little part of the near uh, British Isle era or Ireland. Ireland is land of ire, land of anger. Has it not been that, ladies and gentlemen? Indeed, the security services of Her Majesty set Protestant against Catholic. This is more. Look, Tony Blair, former Prime Minister, three times that bastard. If you vote for Tony Blair once, okay. He's a, he's a con man. Supreme con man, a, a demon who can pull in, just like Richard Dawkins sucks in people to his personality cult. We don't care, people voted for Tony Blair, or well, the NHS, NHS, oh, 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 
NHS, they do it every time. You poor smarts, to use a good Yiddish word. And on question time, Thursday night, there's Alistair Campbell, Tony Blair's pal, right hand man, WMD in Iraq, the PA to WMD in Iraq, Alistair Campbell. But Tony Ben, good Tony, he was against the European monster, and we need to get out of it. And it's only a matter of time. Now, of course, there are many systems of PR, not, we don't mean populations, and this designation it means proportional representation around the world. Even that thing at the end of the Mediterranean, you know, that, that, that thing, it, it calls itself Israel, right? How can it be Israel when it's broken free of the Mosaic laws? Thou shalt not covet, thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not kill. Indeed, the Zionists, the terrorists, murdered British soldiers, and all you politicians who are friends of Israel, you are traitors to Britain. And if we use the name Britain, then what's so terrible at saying Palestine? It's also a Roman name, Palestina, Britannia. The only thing I'd ask to ch about Chuck and Mona is, you know, don't chuck insults and slanders and epithets around Chuck are like racist because I vote UKIP. If you respect my democratic choice, respect that four million, four million of us, 3.9, whatever, we voted for the United Kingdom Independence Party and we've got one, one MP. But hey, you know, one ain't none. And by the way, we're in good company because the Greens only have one. Colonel Lucas, congratulations on being elected to Parliament. Your green ideas are a bit futuristic and some of your worries, don't worry because the ETs are here. ET Special Forces, okay? Don't worry about the nukes, they can't work. God bless you all, thank you for listening. Should they should pay you. Thank you. Yes. Shalom. Shalom.